Good morning. It's Friday. We continue now with 1 Timothy uh, chapter 4, verse 6, a good minister's discipline. In pointing out these things to the brethren, you'll be a good servant of Christ Jesus, constantly nourished on the words of the faith and of the sound doctrine which you have been following. Remember, Paul is writing uh, these words to Timothy, who is his son in the faith. Um, Timothy is a young minister, and Paul is now encouraging him and saying and pointing out these things to the brethren, you'll be a good servant of Christ Jesus. And as you serve, you are constantly nourished on the words of the faith and of the sound doctrine, which you already have been following. Now, this nourishment comes not only to us ministers who deal with God's word daily, but it comes to all of us. The word of God is our nourishment. When we feed daily on the word of God, then we are nourished and we are strengthened, and we drink freely from the living waters. We thirst no more. People in life are thirsty. People in life are, are, are hungry. They're hungry for something. They're looking for peace. They're looking for uh, glory. They're looking for honor. They're looking for something to appease their tormented conscience. They're looking for an answer to life and death and all sorts of things. And they look everywhere, but in the wrong places. They don't look in the Word of God. The Word of God has all the answers. The Word of God is the answer. Uh, and when we finally realize that, when we come to the Lord Jesus Christ, we thirst no more. When we have drunk of the living water, we thirst no more. When we feed daily on God's word, we don't go hungry. We learn that to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness means that everything else will be added unto us. When we have God's word, when we live in faith, when we know that our sins are forgiven because of what Jesus did for us, dying on the cross, paying our sin debt in full, then we are content. We are happy with what God has given us. And we can say with David, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I have no other wants. I have no other needs. He cares for me. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You see, that's the key. That's the answer. So we stick to God's word. We stick to the true words of faith. You'll be constantly nourished on the words of the faith and of the sound doctrine which you have been following. The words of the faith are the words of God, the Bible, and the sound doctrine is the teaching of the Bible. The Bible teaches itself, it interprets itself, that we feed on his word. And the more we feed on his word, the more satisfied we are. And we know God's promise, my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. So when you trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and follow him, you know that God will take care of the rest. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. We thank you for this new day. We thank you for your mercies that are new every morning. And we proclaim, Lord, that great is your faithfulness. Thank you that you provide for us. Thank you that you are always watching over us. Thank you that we are never alone. Thank you that we have your word, that we have the fountains of living water, that we have the Holy Spirit flowing through us. Lord God, Heavenly Father, you have provided for us in such a wonderful way. And we just want to thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus, that you died on the cross. You paid our sin debt in full so that we may be inheritors of eternal life. And we have it already now. Thank you. Lord, we pray. We pray for those who do not know this yet. We pray that you would open their hearts. We pray, Lord, that they would come to see. And they will come to see that chasing after things in this world just brings disaster. Lord, but seeking first your kingdom and your righteousness is the blessed life. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who uh, have not yet opened their hearts to you, that they would do so today. I thank you, Lord, for all who listen to these messages. I ask that you would bless them and keep them. I pray, Lord, that they would realize that you love them with an everlasting love and that our times are in your hands. We pray, Lord, for our country. We thank you for the country in which we live in and we pray for our leaders. We pray for our government. We pray, Lord, that you give them wisdom and understanding and help them. We pray for those who are living in tyranny. We pray, Lord, that you would just help them and, and help them to realize that no matter how bad this life can be at times, we have a new life waiting for us where there'll be no more tyrants, where there'll be no more Satan, no more death, no more evil at all. Lord God, Heavenly Father, have mercy. Have mercy on the Ukraine. Have mercy on Israel and Palestine. Have mercy on those countries, Lord, that are living in fear of our neighboring enemies. Lord, would you thwart the plans of the evil ones who are working and operating as agents of Satan. Lord, have mercy. 
We commit all to you. We lift up before you the sick, the dying, the poor, the lonely, the needly, need, needy, the homeless, the lost, the hopeless. We pray for those, Lord, who mourn the death of a loved one in these days. Heavenly Father, would you grant them your peace, that peace that only you can provide. Thank you that you are with us always. Thank you that you are so wonderful. Thank you, Lord, that you never fail us. Hear us now as we join together in praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.